Welcome to this lesson on literal equations. Literal equations are equations with multiple variables. Literal equations are useful when using formulas because usually formulas have multiple variables. For example, velocity is distance over time. So you have three different variables here and you may want to rearrange that formula so that you can work with it or find a, a, a distinct part of it. So like if I wanted to find the time, I may need to rearrange that formula to solve for time or to get t by itself. So with literal equations, we're going to be rearranging formulas and solving for different variables. So let's try some examples. So in the first example, I want to solve the equation for m. So I want to get m by itself. So right now, m is being divided by n. So I want to do the inverse and multiply by n. So the same rules apply when you're using numbers as they do with variables. So o times n is o n. So that would be my final answer. All right, isolate j. So right now, it's j minus k. I want to get rid of the minus k by doing the inverse, by adding k to both sides. Now, you can't combine h and k because they are not like terms. They're not the same variable. So I can just write it as an expression, h plus k. So j equals h plus k. So your answers here are going to look a little bit different. They're going to be expressions instead of just numbers. But that's okay. That's what we want. All right, find the expression that represents the value of p. So I want to isolate p. So I'm going to divide by r on both sides. So p equals t over r. Okay, number four, now we are working with numbers and variables or constants and variables. So I want to solve for x. The first thing that I'm going to do is add the 5 to both sides. If I want to isolate x completely, I need to get rid of the multiplied by a. So I want to divide by a. So x equals 15 over a. I can't divide those. They're not like terms, so I just leave it like that. All right, number five, solve the equation for g. So first I can, I can do a couple of things. I can just get rid of the three completely by dividing by three on both sides. And because I'm trying to isolate g and not actually solve, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna divide by three on both sides. So I can bring down this expression. And you can either convert that into a decimal but it's not going to divide evenly. It's going to be a repeating decimal, so I'm just going to leave it as a fraction. It's up to you. Next, I, want, I still want to isolate g, so I'm going to add h to both sides. Those are not like terms, so my final answer would be 14 thirds plus h. Looks weird, I know, but that's as simple as you can make it. All right, number six, find the expression that represents the value of E. Okay, so I have E's on both sides. So I want to combine those first because I want to get E by itself all on one side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 2E from both sides. 5E minus 2E, that's 3E. Next, I'm going to add 8 to both sides. Now f plus 8, I can't add those together, so I'm just going to just write them side by side like an expression. And then finally, I want to divide by 3 on both sides. I can't simplify that any further, so my final answer is going to be e equals f plus 8 over 3. Alright, go ahead and stop the video now and you can complete the practice.